Did you know that according to the World Health Organization, an estimated 9.6 million people died from cancer in 2018? That's an average of over 26,000 lives lost every day, more than HIV, AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. In our world today, we're battling against an invisible enemy, a silent killer that affects millions, yet often goes unnoticed until it's too late. It's a disease that does not discriminate, affecting people of all ages, races, and socioeconomic backgrounds. It's a global health crisis, and the statistics are alarming. But here's the thing about cancer. Early detection can make all the difference. The sooner a cancer is found and treatment begins, the better the chance of a positive outcome. Yet too often the signs of cancer go unnoticed. They can be subtle, easy to dismiss as just a minor ailment or a sign of aging. And that's why we're here today. In this video, we're going to discuss 10 signs of cancer that often go unnoticed. These are symptoms that could easily be brushed off, but they might be pointing to something much more serious. We're not saying that experiencing these symptoms definitely means you have cancer, but we are saying that you should take them seriously. Understanding these signs can be the first step towards early detection. It's about arming yourself with knowledge, being aware of your body, and not ignoring potential warning signs. Because when it comes to cancer, knowledge is power, and that power could potentially save your life. So, are you ready to learn about these 10 signs? If so, then keep watching. Stay tuned to learn about these 10 signs that could potentially save your life. Sign number one, unexplained weight loss. Have you been losing weight without trying? While it might seem like a dream come true for some, unexplained weight loss can be a cause for concern. It's often one of the first noticeable signs of cancer. Cancer cells can drain your body's energy supply, often leading to this unexpected drop in weight. Pancreatic, stomach, esophageal, and lung cancers are among the types that frequently present this symptom. When a tumor grows, it can disrupt the normal functioning of your body, including how it uses food for energy. Your body might start burning calories at a faster rate, or you may not be able to fully absorb nutrients from the food you eat. The key here is unexplained. If you haven't changed your diet or exercise routines and you're losing weight, it's a sign that something might be off. If you're shedding pounds without trying, it might be time to see a doctor. Sign number two, persistent fatigue. Do you feel constantly tired regardless of how much you rest? Fatigue that doesn't improve with rest, that's persistent and unexplained, can be a telltale sign of several types of cancer. It's a feeling of whole body tiredness, not just sleepiness, that lasts for weeks or even months. Now, we all have days when we feel a bit more tired than usual. But let's be clear, this is not just about feeling sleepy after a long day or a poor night's sleep. This is fatigue that persists, that doesn't go away with a good night's sleep or a weekend of rest. It's a kind of exhaustion that doesn't seem to have a cause you can identify and it can interfere with your daily activities. So pay attention to your body. If rest isn't resolving your fatigue, it's worth having a conversation with your healthcare provider. Sign number three, skin changes. Have you noticed any changes in the color, size, shape, or thickness of moles, freckles, or warts? These alterations might seem innocuous, but they could be the first sign of something more serious. Skin cancer, including melanoma, basal cell, and squamous cell carcinoma often begins as changes in the skin. You might see a new growth, a sore that doesn't heal, or a change in an old growth. Sometimes there's a change in the skin's color or texture. Other types of cancer can also cause skin changes. For instance, some cancers release substances that cause skin darkening, yellowing, or reddening. It's essential to regularly check your skin for any changes. Use a mirror or ask someone to help you inspect areas that are hard to see. If you notice anything unusual, make an appointment with your healthcare provider right away. Remember, early detection of skin changes can make a huge difference. Sign number four, changes in bowel habits. Have you experienced changes in the consistency, shape, or timing of your bowel movements? Changes in bowel habits can be subtle, yet they might signify something more serious. Perhaps you've noticed your stools are narrower than usual, or you're dealing with persistent diarrhea or constipation. These could be signs of colon or rectal cancer. 
You see, these cancers can cause a blockage in the intestines, altering how your stool looks or how often you go. While it's true that many less serious conditions can cause these same symptoms, it's crucial to pay attention to what your body is telling you. If you notice any significant consistent changes in your bowel habits, it could be a red flag. Don't ignore persistent changes in your bowel habits. It's better to be safe than sorry. Sign number five, persistent cough. Have you been coughing for weeks without any signs of improvement? It's easy to dismiss a cough as just a lingering cold or the result of seasonal allergies. But if it's persisting for weeks, it may be a sign of something more serious. A persistent cough could indicate lung cancer or leukemia. Lung cancer may cause a dry, aching cough that doesn't ease up, even when using over-the-counter cough suppressants. Leukemia, on the other hand, can lead to a cough due to an enlarged spleen or lymph nodes in the chest. Don't let this information scare you. Rather, let it serve as motivation to get your health checked. A persistent cough should never be ignored, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms. Sign number six, changes in urination. Changes in urination frequency or urgency can be a sign of something serious. Have you noticed a sudden urge to urinate more frequently? Or perhaps you're finding it difficult to completely empty your bladder. These could be signs of bladder or prostate cancer. Bladder cancer may cause you to urinate more often than usual or experience a burning sensation during urination. Prostate cancer, on the other hand, might lead to difficulty in urinating or cause a weak or interrupted flow of urine. Another alarming sign is blood in your urine. While it may be a symptom of a urinary tract infection or kidney stones, it can also be an indication of bladder or kidney cancer. It's important to remember that these symptoms don't confirm cancer, but they shouldn't be ignored either. Just as with the other signs we've discussed, changes in urination shouldn't be dismissed as just a result of aging or a minor urinary infection. This could be your body's way of alerting you to a potential problem. Sign number seven, difficulty swallowing. This symptom is often overlooked, but it can be a significant warning sign. Difficulty swallowing, also known as dysphagia, can be a sign of esophageal or throat cancer. It's often accompanied by discomfort or a sensation of a lump in your throat. In some cases, it can also be a symptom of lung cancer, as a large lung tumor can press on the esophagus. This symptom might start as a slight discomfort or a feeling of food stuck in your throat or chest and could progress to a point where swallowing becomes painful or nearly impossible. It's important to note that this symptom can also be associated with other conditions like gastroesophageal reflux disease, but it's crucial not to dismiss it. Moving forward, eighth sign of cancer that often goes unnoticed, unexplained pain or ache. Persistent pain, especially one that doesn't seem to have an obvious cause, can be an alarming sign of several types of cancer. For instance, a persistent pain or ache could be a symptom of bone cancer. Testicular cancer often presents with a dull ache in the lower abdomen or groin. This symptom is particularly deceptive because it's easy to dismiss it as a result of a minor injury or strain. However, if the pain persists, seems unrelated to any physical activity, or if it's accompanied by other symptoms, it's crucial not to ignore it. Next sign we need to be aware of, changes in lymph nodes. These small bean-shaped structures that play a crucial role in your body's ability to fight off infections can sometimes bear the mark of cancer's presence. Swollen or painful lymph nodes are often a sign of your body responding to an infection or disease but they can also indicate certain types of cancer, such as lymphoma or leukemia. Lymph nodes are located throughout your body, but are most noticeable in the neck, under the armpits, and in the groin. If you notice swelling in these areas, it could be due to an enlarged lymph node. A lump or a change in the size of one or more lymph nodes, especially if it's accompanied by persistent pain, should not be ignored. It's important to remember that while infections are the most common cause of swollen lymph nodes, they're not the only cause. If the swelling doesn't go away in a few weeks, or if it's accompanied by other symptoms like unexplained weight loss, night sweats, or persistent fever, it's time to consult a healthcare provider. Bear in mind, not all changes in lymph nodes are noticeable through physical examination. Some might only be detected through imaging studies like CT scans or MRIs, that's why regular health checkups are so important. 
They can help detect problems you might not be aware of, potentially saving your life. Let's delve into number 10, night sweats. While it's common to occasionally wake up a little warm or even sweaty, persistent night sweats could be a symptom of something more serious. Night sweats are not simply about feeling hot, but rather experiencing intense heat that can leave your clothing and sheets soaked, even in a cool room. These nocturnal sweats can be a sign of several types of cancer, most notably lymphoma and leukemia. They are often one of the earliest symptoms of leukemia, a type of cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow. Night sweats can also be associated with other types of cancer like liver, pancreatic, and kidney cancer. It's important to note that night sweats can be caused by other health conditions too, such as infections or hormonal imbalances. However, if you're experiencing persistent night sweats, especially when accompanied by other symptoms like unexplained weight loss or changes in lymph nodes, it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider. Remember, these symptoms don't confirm cancer, but they do warrant medical attention. The common thread in all these signs is their deceptive subtlety. They're easy to justify, easy to ignore, but ignoring them can come at a high price. So, what can we do to safeguard our health? Regular health checkups are a good start. They can help detect problems before they start. If you're over the age of 40, annual health screenings should be a part of your health regimen. For those under 40, a checkup every two to three years should suffice, unless you have a family history of certain diseases, in which case, more frequent checkups may be necessary. Early detection is crucial in the fight against cancer. It increases the chances of successful treatment and survival. If caught early, many forms of cancer are treatable, and survival rates can be significantly improved. But it's not just about survival. Early detection can also mean a better quality of life during and after treatment. It can mean fewer, less severe treatment side effects and a quicker return to normal life. Your health is in your hands. Take care of it, value it, and most importantly, don't take it for granted.